Hi. Um, some of you may have been following uh, my young dog Carrot here. She's two and a half now. Um, she's been quite a journey for training. She's really hard-headed, strong prey drive, and I've had to work hard on her retrieving skills. She can do the retrieval right, but she won't stay focused. She always wants to go off and hunt, which is a really common thing with these dogs. So I've been trying to devise ways of keeping her really quite intensely focused on the retrieve. Now, something I've discovered is that if she waits her turn with my other dogs, it does build her level of interest in the job. So I've deliberately set, set up and started to set up a few times a situation where they run out past her and she has to really watch and she's really teed up then when it's her turn. Because otherwise she'll often get out on a scene retrieve and she doesn't pick it straight away. I mean, it's called blinking. Um, she might just sniff around and then she starts to lose her focus and if I get angry with her and try and correct her um, you know the whole job becomes something that she isn't really interested in at all so you know you have to be really careful with these dogs in finding ways of keeping them on side um, I'll demonstrate with these two older dogs you know what I mean and Carrot isn't ever going to be as keen at retrieving as for instance Jersey because it's just not in her makeup you just have to do your best come on here Dora sit Jersey sit Carrot here to watch you don't spoil one dog to make another. <laughs> Sit. Now up. Jersey, goodbye. You'll see that during the retrieve, Carrot's interest is intermittent. She does care about the actual search, but not a lot in between. And then she loses interest completely and is disobedient in getting up. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Carrot. Sit up. It may seem tough, but these are simple basic commands which Carrot knows, and at two and a half, she must be reliable if she is to make progress. Sit. Sit. The additional shot, by the way, is a neighbouring farmer's bird scarer. Go back. On this retrieve, Carrot has completely lost interest again. Hello! Hello, sir! Carrot, sit up. And she totally disregards the instruction to sit. Once again, it may seem tough, but the message must be clear that there are consequences when she behaves badly. Sit. Sit. My most important job in this will be to seize the first opportunity to give her lots of praise the moment she gets it right. I'd like to do one retrieve where Carrot's attentive and obedient before she has a chance to do her own retrieve, and I think here we're in business. Yes, good girl, good girl. 
Good girl, sit. Sit. For carrot to be praised when she achieves is the best way that she will learn. Good girl, good girl. Heel. Carrot. Carrot, come here. Here Carrot was beautifully focused for the shot, had a super outrun and I was really pleased with the way she kept hunting and was focused on finding the dummy. The way Carrot picks and carries the dummy shows immaturity, but it is not a race. The basics must be in place before you can move on. Okay, well, that wasn't perfect as you saw the delivery was poor, so I am going to do it again because Carrot's at the age where if I let her get away with little things like that that go wrong, bearing in mind I want her for competition, is she just will end up dropping dummies and that's immediate elimination in anything these days. So she must be um, always corrected if she's messy with a dummy or drops it. Young puppy, of course you cut them more slack, but for a dog of two and a half, it, that's been taught and she knows how to behave <laughs> that isn't any good so I'm going to go again but generally speaking if you get a good retrieve from a young dog particularly if it's like her and she, you know it's not mega keen don't try and repeat it you know you'd be trying to win 10 nil and you can't do that it just pushes them over the edge and then you go you know you've had nice work then you try and repeat it it goes wrong and you end up you know getting the dog fed up with its work so carrot sit we'll just do one more of those retrieves Sit. Jessie. Jess. Good, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. <laughs> Carrot, go back. Longish training sessions like this, once your dog is getting on in its training, can be necessary to improve them on the detail, but do be sure that the pressure you put them under is not detrimental. Carrot is now enjoying being the centre of attention and with her head and tail high, here. it proves that she is able to take this level of discipline. Dead. Good girl, good girl. Carrot. Hold. Heel. Heel. It was a tough training session for us both, but one where she learned Dead. and ultimately enjoyed the work. Good girl, good girl. 